Hello brothers and sisters, this Monday's Liturgy of the Word speaks to us first of all in the first reading about how the history of the people of Israel continued after the events that we have been listening to that are related, connected to the life and vocation of Joseph. And uh, after Joseph dies, the people of Israel stay in Egypt, right? We start listening the beginning of the book of, of Exodus. And we see how the new, you know, there is no more Joseph and there is a new uh, Pharaoh who is not, you know, as favorable to the people of Israel as the former Pharaoh was because of Joseph. And we see how this Pharaoh is kind of afraid of this people of Israel that is growing. Uh, he's afraid that they're going to be so uh, powerful and so numerous that they will overthrow his own uh, kingdom. And he starts punishing them. He starts really treating them as the worst kind of slaves, right? He becomes their enemy. Before, with Joseph, the Pharaoh was like a friend to the people of Israel, but now he is an enemy, an image of the devil, really, who is, you know, many times pretends to be like our friend, pretends to offer us a better um, opportunity in life or better things uh, than God himself, but then once he catches us, we are done with, he steps on us, he uh, mistreats us and he oppresses us telling us that we are good for nothing, that we are, uh, we are not, you know, loved by God and that we are not worth anything. And then we see Jesus putting that even in another perspective, saying that, you know, because of our Christian vocation, our vocation to be like him, like Jesus, true children of God, we are going to be, uh, enemies to some people, or some people will become our enemies, better say, right? Even in our own families. And this is very, um, very easy to, to see, you know, concretely in our lives, you know. Just as you try to live out more your faith, try to do things in a more uh, moral way, let's say even according to the teachings of the church, start going to mass more, start praying more, start doing you know acts of of uh, of uh, charity, and even you know start changing the way you spend your money or the way you speak, the way you live as a whole, the way you use your time, and you will see that people will kind of start changing their attitude towards you. Even your best friends, maybe, sometimes you can see that, that, you know, they start kind of saying, no, oh, wait a minute, you are changing too much. You are becoming too different. You are becoming too good, too holy. Uh, sometimes even people feel that we are kind of uh, attacking them just because we are trying to be more in line with the gospel or with the will of God, right? Because uh, they see that their ways are different, their ways are the ways of the world, and they feel threatened or even uh, accused by us simply because of the way we live. And this is something beautiful to see uh, in Christianity. We Christians are called to be different, to call the attention of people, not because we speak a lot or we start preaching in the corners of the streets or uh, we start confronting everyone. No, just change the way you live, start living like a Christian, and you will see that people, either they will be attracted to you or they will feel repulsed by you, right? But the Lord tells us, do not be afraid. Live your vocation, you know, to be a Christian, to be a son, a true child of God is more important than anything more important than affections, more important than, you know, great opportunities in uh, our careers or with money, with uh, 
uh, connections and so on. Because living out our vocation not only grants us a place in heaven with God, but also grants us joy, peace here already in this life that no one can take away. So if you want to be happy, if you want to find peace, if you want to find joy, live out your vocation. Do not uh, put boundaries to your vocation as a Christian, first of all, because then God will enlighten you and show you as well what He's calling you to do as a Christian. Maybe to be a priest, maybe to be a nun, maybe to be a brother in a community, or to be married and so on, right? But the most important thing is give everything to God. Slowly, yes, many, some, many times we kind of go into despair because we say, you know, how can I do that? But take baby steps. Every day is a new day. Every day God is helping us to achieve and to walk towards that beautiful goal that is to be a saint, that is to be happy, blessed forever. So may God bless you. May He listen to your prayers and our prayers, and may He allow us to persevere in our vocation.